Well, it's the next day and here I am fixing it. So I got it on jack stands already. And I have a new axle right here, warrantied from Advanced. I'm not stoked to be doing this, but I have to change another axle. And the reason I have to change the axle, and I feel like I should say this, take a look at how skinny these axles are. <laughs> these are part store axles, so they're actually shit. They're, they're complete garbage. Look how thick it is. Like, it's a fat boy. And they, they don't break. This one broke because it hit a curb like two years ago. And this axle was fine. It held up to 325 power, but I my 325 CI has a 330 motor in it. So now it makes too much torque and it breaks my axles. So here I am again. This is the fifth, yeah, fifth, right? Fifth axle I'm replacing. So, all right, which size takes off the wheel? You gonna tell me? I'll give you a hint, it's on here. It's not like a trick question. I think it's this one. Which one? I think I remember. The 16. 16? Isn't it? Mm, that doesn't sound right to me. What? It sounds right to me. It's, it, I think it's an odd number. 17? I, I don't know. Go take a take a check. See if it fits. I don't think I've showed these before. I think the Style Fives have been visible on my videos maybe, but oh, yeah, these, these are E90 wheels that I had. They're pretty shitty. Got them for $200. Got them powder coated for free. Shout out to Roy's mom because she did an amazing job with these. Even though they're like curved and I tried to repair it myself, the powder coat came out nice. They look so good. So I had to go off topic. It's not fun being mean. Alright, make sure it's on loosening, alright? Uh, I tell I forget. Yeah, it's, it is. Go ahead and zap her off. You just, have to, you just have to hold it in place like that. Oh, there it goes. I think that stud's holding the last one in pretty good because usually they just fall out. That's true. Or no, it got stuck, I guess. Oh, fuck. The stud came out, I think. Did it? I don't see it. Where it I don't know. I saw it bounce, but I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Clear. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. That means I can put a fifth one in. Well, this isn't a how-to channel, so I felt like I'd rather just take it out instead of spending way longer than I needed to filming it. But yeah, it's broken pieces everywhere. All the ball bearings fell out. But yeah, I'd like to say I think I found out the best method to getting it out because I've tried it a few times and I've heard people even saying unbolt the diff, but I think I figured it out. So as long as you have power tools, this is not that difficult of a thing to do. Basically, you take off uh 18 18 zap that off 18 zap this one off 18 zap this one off three things done 17 on top 13 on bottom take off the sway bar and on the other side strut spring is out that's it nothing else now what you want to do for this side you want this as low as possible pulls the sway bar on the other side as low as possible then you want to jack it up from the rotor that way it pulls just the knuckle up as much as possible. You also want the bucket up, so you get as much room as possible. Exhaust comes down, and then it should slide between the sway bar and diff right here. And that was my problem before, is it kept hitting the diff, kept hitting the sway bar, kept hitting the exhaust, couldn't figure it out. Eventually, after the fifth time, I found out the best method. Method, just quickly undo all this, don't think about it, just zap, 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 done. This. This top one does take the longest, to be honest, because it's a little tedious. And then I got this E12 extensions, zap off all the bolts from here. It's kind of hard to see because I have this jacked up, but before it was drooping down, you could zap off all the bolts. And then bam, now you're at this. Push it out. Next one's gonna go right in straight through here. You just grab the axle, slide it through, bolt it up through here. That way it pulls as far forward as possible, slide it up in there, and then everything else is self-explanatory. Holy sunk. God damn. Uh, it's the jack It's not? Oh god. It's a low from a jack too. Well, let's get a nice picture of it and then I gotta put it back up in the air, but damn. Can I actually ride like this? <laughs> 